welcome to watch my video on how to do, do a knit two together and slip 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 knit decreases and purl two together and slip slip purl decreases i i have a little sample here i i have also made yarn overs so you will also see some yarn yarn overs here uh, what has been happening here is that I have done uh, knit two together or uh, no sorry here I have done slip slip knit or slip slip purl on every row and here knit two together or purl two together then on wrong, wrong side of the work and here I have a, a slip slip knit and on wrong side it's slip slip purl they are slanting to the left and I have knit two together and purl side I have purled two together to have this decreased line slanting to the right so let's begin I have, uh, cast on 14 stitches here and I'm making I have a, a right side of the work and wrong side of the work. I'm knitting on the right side and purling on the wrong side. So let's make a few decreases in the beginning. So I'm also making yarn overs here just to make sure that my uh, stitch count for this sample doesn't uh, doesn't decrease. Uh, this is usually this technique is usually used for lace pattern where you have uh, yarn over and uh, corresponding decreases. Yarn, yarn over increases and uh, corresponding decreases. So I have I will make a yarn over. So I'm bringing the yarn from front to back, and then I'm making uh, the first decrease. This is slip slip knit so i will slip the first stitch as if to knit slip the second stitch as if to knit bring them back to the left hand needle and then i'm knitting them together through the back loop so i will keep my needle on the back and knitting them together so the decrease is slanting to the left then i will knit to the end of or three stitches before end so I can make corresponding decrease here so I will make a knit two together so I will just knit these two stitches together going to the uh, leftmost stitch of those two sti stitches as if to knit and knitting them together like this uh, the movements are the same even if you are English knitter or thrower you just throw your yarn there and grab it there so now now I'm going to do uh, the similar decrease decreases on the wrong side of the work so I have knit two together here so I'm turning the work I will purl the first stitch I also purl the second stitch and making a yarn over here. So your yarn over is the same on wrong side and the back side of the work. You just bring the yarn from front to back over the needle. Then since I have knit two together decrease here, I'm purling two stitches together here. So <coughs> actually <laughs> I have a di uh, odd <laughs> technique of purling so I will first do the yarn over then I'm going to put the needle into the stitches and purling the two stitches together so they will look they will slant to the right as if to need to uh, stitches together did also but I'm guessing that you don't purl that way that you first bring the yarn in front and then you will knit these uh, 
purling these two stitches together. That's also an option. And that will do the same for the stitches. They will slant to the right on right side of the work. So the corresponding decrease for knit two together is purl two together on wrong side. Then I'm going to four stitches before to the end, four, uh, uh, two stitches before the yarn over. And uh, since I had slip slip knit here, I am going to do slip slip purl here. So um, the slipped slip is happening uh, knitwise. So you go to the first stitch, stitch knitwise and slip it as if to knit. Go to the second stitch knitwise, slip it as if to knit, put them back to your left hand needle and then you are purling from the <coughs> from the back loop. So I'm now going to purl like I do. So this is I'm catching the yarn. It's not a yarn over. It's just maneuver for my purl. Then I'm going to purl these together from the back loop. So I will go to the leftmost stitch first. I'm not going to this way, but this way. So that makes the decrease to slant left as if slip slip knit would do. I will show the other way of purling too. So I have all already done the slip slip knit. They are uh, twisted this way on my left needle. So if what happens if I would do in the different way, purl in different way. Yes, I will go to the <coughs> first to the leftmost stitch, then bringing the yarn in front. I'm going to purl those stitches together like this. It's much more difficult for me since I'm not used to make this this way, but they are slanting to the left as if slip slip knit. Then I'm going to do my yarn over and purl to the end. Let's make a fast forward and repeat this again. So slip, slip, knit decrease on right side. And knit two together at this in en end. And then knitting. And let's do this on the wrong side. <coughs> So here I have the yarn over, I will make a yarn over and then I'm going to just purl these two stitches together like this. And as you can see, they are slanting right. And the same here, so two stitches before the end of the yarn over, not the same, but slip slip purl. So slip first it stitch as if to knit, slip second stitch as if to knit, slip them back to the left hand needle and then purl these stitches together. So you bring the yarn in front, you will go to the leftmost stitch first, then to the right stitch, then you will purl, purl the yarn there. And as you can see, 
to decrease is slanting to the left as if slip slip knit on right side would slip go then yarn over and tint it until the end thank you for watching this video bye